Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and welcome to New York. I'm here in Brooklyn having a great time, my first time in this big city. Um, look, there is a topic that started emerging right now. I'm having some questions about it. And uh, this topic is the topic of emotional freedom. So what I'm going to do is within a three to five minute video, give you a boost of energy and a set of techniques or tactics that I, I use personally to create emotional freedom in my life. So emotional freedom is like this key quality or skill or ability to tap into a flow of energy that is essential in your existence. The reason why it's essential is because emotional freedom is the ability to create space, to clear space. Every time you have a negative emotion or thought or belief, anything that is cluttering your mind um, is just going to hold you back. It's like an anchor of energy. So it's essential to have techniques that you can use to create emotional freedom in your life. So, here are some ideas. The first thing that you can do is simply breathe. Breathe in dynamic ways. So you can breathe in and out through the nose, or in and out through the mouth, or alternate. The reason why it works is because when you breathe in and out, what you are doing is you are um, harmonizing your energy body and creating space. Something else that creates lots of emotional freedom is to take cold showers, jump into the sea, into the waves, you know, the, the, the waves of the ocean. It's a little bit like being in a washing machine, in a brain washing machine that is going to clear your emotion and reset your mind. So this is a great technique as well. Something else that I use is simply exercise. You know, you want to clear your mind, just go for a jog, go for, to the forest, climb mountain, do something physical. This is going to work really well. Something else that I use are mantras, okay? Something, um, a, a core quality that I call, or a core skill that I call the Kali power is the ability to activate your um, power of renewal, change, transformation, destruction. So, to activate your Kali powers, you simply use the, the name of Kali. Kali is an Indian goddess, you know, but it's a quality, it's an archetype for something that we have inside of us. And this quality is the ability to create change or transform or destroy something that we no longer want in our lives. So, to activate that power, you simply use the name of Kali. And you use that, that name either by itself, associated with your name. For instance, my name is Rajaya. So I will use Kali Rajaya, Kali Rajaya, Kali Rajaya, Kali Rajaya. You see, you can sing it, you can meditate on it internally in your third eye, you can boost your power by simply using that word. If you go for a jog or you are somewhere in nature, you can, you can stand and take a warrior position and you go Kali Rajaya, Kali Jaya, Kali Rajaya, Kali Jaya. Kali Jaya means Kali, victory to Kali, Kali Jaya. Uh, you can also use the term Kali Yama, which means mastery of Kali, mastery of the Kali power. So that's another technique to create lots of emotional freedom. Another term that you can use is simply the, the word uh, freedom in Sanskrit, which is Aditi. So you can use again the word Aditi Yama, which means um, mastery of freedom or freedom mastery aditi yama rajaya aditi yama rajaya so when you use these mantras right now i'm using aditi freedom yama monster mastery rajaya is my name so you can replace rajaya by your name suppose that you're called uh, pauline or bernadette or um, Alicia, you will use uh, Aditi Yama Alicia, okay? Adding your, your name at the end. That way your mind thinks, okay, that's associated to me. It's like a programming of that specific quality inside of you. So this is it. You know, you have a few techniques. You can start tapping into them. What you have to realize with uh, emotional freedom is that... Um, it's a muscle that you train. It means that it's a specific mind skill or ability that you can activate inside of you and um, that starts transforming your life. If you do it just once, that's great, twice, three times, but the goal is really to have some form of emotional freedom building technique that you apply to your life every day so that you have a reserve of power, a reserve of emotional freedom that allows you to keep on cleaning 
or cleansing your mind, detoxifying your brain, detoxifying your emotions, detoxifying your energy body. You know, I, I use a lot the term of energetic detoxification, which is basically what we are doing when we are using it, these techniques. If you want more on that, just get in touch, you know, sign up for a coaching session or get in touch, send me a quick email or uh, find me on Facebook uh, or go to my website, vital coaching.com okay look at this gorgeous day it's october here in new york and it's fantastic i love this place take care see you soon bye bye